What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're gonna be drawing Shadow the Hedgehog. Now for today's lesson, we'll be drawing our character in a slight three quarter angle. So in the center of a page, let's move over towards the left side and draw in an oval. Starting from the very top, come all the way around towards the bottom of the nose, and then pull that back up. And we'll add a small circle along the top, and we'll fill in the bottom of the nose. Now with the nose in place, let's draw the top edge of the muzzle. We're gonna start on the left side, start with the curve coming down, and we'll bend that up. Go to the right side and draw a slightly larger curve coming down and up. Let's round out the side of the muzzle, coming around and just pulling that back in. And we'll close off the bottom, starting back over on the left side. I'm going to bring this down towards the bottom and we'll bend that back up on the right. Now you want to shift the mouth over towards the right side. So let's start from the bottom, start by curving this up, bending that out, and we'll curl the mouth coming around and just tucking that back in underneath. Let's add a short line coming down from the right side to separate out the teeth. Now with the muzzle in place, let's move up and draw in the eyes. Just above the nose, we're going to step up, start with a point, curve this out and up towards the left. Go back to the center, go out and up towards the right. Now let's add a fold in between the brow. It's gonna bend this out towards the left and then up the middle. Let's go to the left side of the brow. I'm just gonna curve this up and then bend that out towards the point. Go to the right side and do the same thing. Going up and bending that out. Let's curve the side of the eye coming back in towards the mouth. Let's start on the left. Coming around, and bending that in, come down, and bend that in. Let's round out the top of the eye. Starting from the left side, just gonna round this out, come in towards the eyelid, and do the same thing on the right. Now you want to pull the left eye underneath the brow. So we start up here and draw an oval, coming down, and just pulling that back up. Let's go all the way over towards the right side and draw a full oval. Start from the very top, come down towards the bottom, and then back up. Let's trace these ovals along the inside. Just drawing the bottom half on the left, and all the way around on the right side. Let's add a small curve along the top for a highlight, and then we'll fill the bottom in black. Let's fill in the left pupil. Let's move to the side of the left eye. I'm just gonna curve the brow, going out, and then up. Round up the top, and just bend that back down on the inside. Let's line this up over on the right, and draw the brow going up, around that point, and bring that back down. Now from the right brow, we're gonna step up and add in the ear. Let's start up here, start by curving this up and then bending that out towards the tip. Come around the side and then bend that back in. Let's trace the ears along the side. From the tip, we'll step down, start with the inside, come down towards the bottom, and we'll trace out the right side, and we'll connect the bottom with a slight curve. Now with that ear in place, we're going to go back over towards the left side and draw on the top of the head. Let's start from the top of the brow, we're going to go up, round up the head, and then bend that down in behind the ear. Let's follow that curve towards the right side of the ear, it's going to bend this down, and then pull that up towards the first spike. Let's pull this back in towards the side of the head, coming down, and then gradually bend that Now I'm going to go back and tuck the left ear behind the head. Let's start up here, start with the curve going up, and we'll bend that out, come straight down, and then bend the ear coming back in towards the side of the head. 
Let's trace the ear along the bottom with a thin trim going up, and then add a thicker trim along the top. Now let's add that trim coming down the center of the head. In between the brow, let's go to the center, start with a point. From here we curve this out toward the left, and then up toward the top of the head. Let's go back down to the bottom, curve out towards the right, then that up. And I just want to round out the top and bring that over towards the right side. Let's add a trim along the top of that spike. Start from the top, come down a little bit lower, and then blend that back up towards the top. Let's add another spike coming out from the left side of the head. We're going to start underneath the ear, start by going out, and we'll bend that up, bring this down, and then bend that in towards the side of the head. Let's add a trim along the top, starting from the tip, taper this in towards the side. Now before we can finish off the rest of the head, we're going to move down and draw the overlapping body. Let's start underneath the chin with the fur. Starting down here, start by curving out and then down towards the first point. Taper that back in. And we'll add another point. Point out and then down. And we'll pull that back in. Let's add a couple more points. Come down and across. And go up. I'm just going to bend this out in the opposite direction, come all the way back up underneath the head. Now let's tuck the body in underneath the fur. From that point, feel the body coming down, and we'll bend that in towards the hip. Let's move back up and draw the top edge of the right arm. We start up here, step across, curve the arm coming down, and then out towards the wrist, and then we're going to overlap that thick cuff. We step up. Put this in and bend that down. Let's draw two straight angle lines from the top of the cuff and then the bottom, and it'll follow that same curve on the outside. From the bottom of the cuff, we're going to step up and draw the bottom of the arm, pull this in and then up towards the side of the body. Step out, curve this around, and then down towards the hip. Now we're going to pose the hand in a fist. Let's start from the top of the cuff. Start with the thumb going up. Bring the thumb coming back down. Round up the end of the thumb and then pull that back up. Let's draw the inside of the palm with a curve. Coming down and bending that in. Now we're going to add three fingers in behind the thumb. Let's start from the top and draw a half oval going around and in. Come down towards the bottom, draw another oval, going around and then up underneath the thumb. And we'll do that one more time. Let's go back to the cuff, curve the bottom of the hand coming down and then out underneath the finger. Now with that arm in place, we're going to move up and draw that last spike in behind. From here we're going to step up to create an overlap, curve this down and then that out. Bring this down and then in behind the hand. Let's continue the curve of the spike along the inside of the hand, coming down behind the cuff, and just pull that back up underneath the head. Let's add another spike on the left side. From here, we're going to step down, pull this around, and then bring that back in. Pull this up and tuck that up underneath the head. Now from here we're going to continue working our way down the legs. Let's we'll start from the left hip, curve the leg going out, and then down towards the knee, come down, and then bend that in towards the ankle. Let's go to the right hip, we're just going to bend the leg going out, and stretch that all the way down towards the bottom. Now we're going to wrap the cuff around the leg. From the bottom, step across, curve down, and just bend that up. And do the same thing on the right side. From the inside of that fold, let's step in, let's follow that same curve of the leg going up towards the inside of the knee, come up and in towards the center of the body. And we'll tuck the inside of the right leg underneath that cuff. And 
go out and then bend that down. Let's wrap the cuff around the outside. From the bottom of the leg, step up, bend this out and down, and left and right. And it will come down with a straight line, and it will close off the bottom with a curve. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming down, and we'll close off the bottom. Let's go to the center of that seam, draw a straight angle line coming all the way down towards the bottom. Now on the right side, from this fold, we'll step in, angle this down and in. Now because this leg is turned, we're going to see the inside edge of the left foot. From the bottom of that cuff, step out, curve in and then down towards the heel, and then we'll round out the bottom of the foot. And down and then up. Draw a straight angle line going all the way up toward the top of the foot. And I'll bend the foot going up and in towards the outside of the cuff. Now we're going to move over and draw the right shoe pointing forward. From the bottom of the cuff, come out and then down. Go to the outside, go in the opposite direction. Let's connect the ends with the curve. Let's add some detail to the left shoe. Starting underneath the cuff, curve this out and then down. Now from the outside, we're going to step up and just trace this along the bottom, coming in towards that seam. From the inside of that seam, step up, angle this down, and from the top, curve across and then up towards the top of the heel. Let's go to the bottom of the right foot, step up in the middle, draw a straight line going across, and angle this down and out. Now we're going to trace this out along the top. So we step up, start with a straight line going across, and down the side, and then curve out towards the side of the foot. Now we're going to move back up and draw on the left arm. We we'll start from the side of the body, curve this out down towards the wrist, and then we'll overlap that cuff like we did on the right side. So we step up, curve across, and then down. From the bottom of the cuff, let's step up, curve the arm coming back in towards the body, and then from the edge of the cuff, draw two short angle lines coming down, and we'll close off the left side. Let's go up to the top and curl around the thumb. Go up, Bring this down, round up the thumb, and pull that back up. Now we're going to come down to the bottom of the cuff, curl the first finger, coming down and out, round up the knuckle, in towards the thumb, that's going to swirl this back out. And we'll stack two more fingers in behind. We'll start from the end, going around and then in behind the thumb. We'll do that one more time. Let's add a spike along the back of the body. We start underneath the right arm, go out and then down, and then pull that back in toward the side. And then finally, we're going to add in the tail. Let's start from the right hip, put the tail going out and up, taper this back in towards the side. And that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of Shadow the Hedgehog. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.